Hey guys, this is Bales. I'm looking at PGA player models at Fantasy Labs and going to do a tutorial on how to use the lineup builder, optimizer, and multi lineup tool. So, after you create a model, I'm looking at my uh, personal model. You can create a model here using the sliders, uh, back test it. You have player ratings, you're ready to create a lineup. There's a few different ways to do it. One is to just optimize. You can optimize a lineup based on your model, and that will return the true mathematically best lineup um, that we have. I think there is some use for an optimizer in PGA because uh, the sport is so mathematical. Um, there's also not positions, uh, so there's not really opportunity cost or, or talk, toggling between positions to see where you want to spend up. Um, every uh, golfer can sort of be considered in the same in the same way just because there's not that that same type of scarcity so we have uh, uh an optimal lineup here of course it's going to be better for cash games you need to be concerned about ownership and tournaments um, another way that you can create a lineup is just to build it just like you would on DraftKings, uh, except we have all of this data and we have your model so you can lock in players here on the left so you can say i want stenson english and you lock those players in they move in over here you can return them to models here you can also exclude anyone who you don't want with the x here or here say i don't want that player even in models at all your excluded players are here so they won't even be considered or you can uh, return those um, so that's the way that i build lineups when you do have a lineup here that you like a single lineup you can click save and it'll go to the my lineups page and it's saved there um, next, you can generate multiple lineups. So there's a few way to do the, do, ways to do this. You can um, just click uh, generate multiple lineups, select the number of lineups. We'll do 20, min salary cap, 99%. And then min rating is uh, you're only going to consider players with that rating or above. You'll probably need to change this relative to your model because different models have different player ratings based on which stats you personally are um, weighting heavily. So we'll keep it at, at 60. As you move this up, the total player pool that you're considering is obviously going to go down, and so you're diversifying less and taking on more risk, but you're probably going to have more optimal lineups. So here we have um, 20 lineups and exposure to 32 players. Just to give you an example how you can change that, we'll consider only players with a rating of 63 or better, and now we have 20 lineups, but exposure to only 19 different golfers. So this uh, set of 20 lamps uh, would be, uh, you'd be taking on more risk, but um, it's probably more optimal because you're only considering guys with a certain rating. You can change the um, exposure that you have to each golfer in two ways. The first way is to do it right here in models. So you can say, I want Stenson in 50% of lineups, and I want Palmer in um, 70%. Um, and you can do that for as many golfers as you like. And when you go here, and you generate the lineups, we will try to get those guys as close as possible. So here we got Palmer in 70 and Stenson in 15. You can also edit it here um, after they've been returned um, and you can set the exposure there, regenerate, and we will get as close as we can. So we got those um, perfect again. So once you have lineups that you like, um, you can select all of them, you can select none, and then just pick the ones you want. So in this case, we pick the top four, let's say. You save lineups, and it'll go to the My Lineups page again. My Lineups page will have all of the saved lineups um, from models, uh, and you can see your exposure, the total exposure that you have to each golfer. You can see your lineups here. You can remove them if you'd like. When you find the lineups that you want, you click Export. There's a CSV file here that you can upload right to DraftKings and that will um, put those lineups right into the My Lineups page and then you can enter them right into tournaments.